So dear learner, till the previous lecture we have learned about that how we can go for history level and how we can show our missing level or anything in our floor plan or sailing or anywhere actually. Now I'll just close all of the tab. and we learn to draw all how we can one by one we learn everything so that you can understand every tools of that software first and then we'll go for our final test so first of all i'll just go to our ground floor double click here to open our ground floor i'll close it okay i'll click here and from view i will take a tilt view so to take a tail view first i'll take a 3d and then i'll just go here first of all I'll, I'll click on that ground floor and that i'll go on tail view and here the 2d i'll create the 3d will be visible here okay now i'm in ground level ground floor level so i'm here okay now this is our ground floor level what will do now first of all i'll just go here architect architecture and i'll click here wall they have three types of wall wall architectural all a structural all by face so i will create our all by architectural first we we'll learn about that but this is the uh, we we'll learn about that in details so first of all i'll click all architectural so when we have clicked on that all architectural then you will see the option modify place all have been opened now here we will see everything about that i mean related to that wall everything is available here one by one we we'll learn everything or we'll discuss about everything first of all if you click here you will see there are many all available here this is default as per this uh, is provided by our software default okay okay now when everything is okay you can select any of it as per your requirement but if you need to change it as per your requirement because suppose if you need a four inch wall then it, this is generic all i mean concrete all but if you need any other wall then you can change it there are many options there are many all are available but which types of all you need only you know so how you will change it or how will take it to do, do that i'll just go here click edit now from edit i'll duplicate all first so but before that which types of all you need actually you can take it from here you can take it from here so suppose i need a six inch or four inch generic call so consider that i'll take a uh, brick on wood stood or machinery it will be better if we take a machinery all for a this is available for 18 c but you can take it for i mean we can modify that otherwise we can go for our generic so i'll take it generic and from here they have three types of work basic all curtain all and stocks all so i'll take it first basic all and uh, here i'll take 16 c generic and simply I'll click here duplicate so i will take six inch okay six since two done now we can click here to change our structure so what will be the thickness actually how much thickness you need you can use it here suppose if you need four inch wall then you can provide here four inch done then layer above work by clicking here also you are able to change it what will be the category or what will be the materials actually here we'll change it later no need to change it here now 
I'll cancel it because I'll take it as a six inch. So after changing there, you will see the reflect here. So this is the six inch wall. And the graphics color or anything, if you need to change it, you can change from here. At this time, no need to change anything. Time to time, we learn everything. So I'll just click apply and then okay. Just see here or that all is available. Now we'll start drawing our wall. Suppose here I'll take you all in that direction. That will be 15 feet. Okay. 15 feet. And in that direction, I'll take you all 25 feet. Again, uh, in that direction, I'll take you all like 15 feet. I'll just click here. If you take your mouse here, you will see some uh, sample is available and if I take our mouse and just see here a shadow are coming and simply you can do it and then skip by pressing your keyboard okay. now what will do you can see 3d here the wall we have created 3d of our wall are available here okay now what we have done actually what we have done here we have just created a wall what will be the height or anything we don't know anything so if i just go to our east then see a wall have been created for 20 feet height and from ground floor to level second floor but i mean we, do, we didn't provide anything already any information or any data just automatically it's have been selected so what we'll do now we will modify that data as per our requirement or we'll draw another wall as per our requirement i'll just come here i'll select it i'll delete it now again i'll just close that now see again i'll go here architectural all and the all we have duplicated this is here I'll take it you will see here are many options place all okay fine in which direction we need to draw the wall in height that means we are in ground floor now and if you select that option height that means our wall will be created in top direction or up direction if you take that value in depth that means our all will start creating in down direction suppose if you click a all sorry if you click wall here you see our all have been created in down direction just again if we go here you see here from here a 20 feet minus 20 feet all have been created but in down direction i'll just delete it i'll just go here i'll close it again i'll go here i'll click here architecture all everything is okay now i will just go in height and i will provide here till which height you need to create your all so suppose i am in ground floor and i need to create a all till first floor okay and the location of line with respect to which line we want to create our wall so i'll show you about that one by one and they have option join status when we'll create all and if we create a all with respect to another wall or if we create a all with another wall then it will be joined or not so we'll also learn about it first of all i will start with height with first floor clear so if we go with first floor then we'll take first option wall center line and if i just click here i'll zoom it just see our all are creating with its center line okay with respect to a center line so if i click here you see all have been created here also already 
and if i skip it i'll save it later again if i click here then core center line or finished face center exterior if you click here and if i click here just see now the all are creating with exterior face i mean it's it's being creating with uh, our mouse are moving from right i mean uh, at right side but are all are moving at uh, our mouse are moving at left side but are all are moving at right side so if i just click here just see it's moving like that and again if i skip and if i just go here then from exterior if we go interior and again if i start creating all just see it now the all are moving by left side see so in this way we are able to manipulate that okay it's fine now the another option join tester us so if i click this allow and if we start creating all and if i go here just see no a single single all have been created but it's not joining not joining here this all is separated this all is also separated but if we use that option from all if we use that option allow joint even if we click here and we skip sorry if we click here and if you may move it will automatically join and if i take some wall or if you click here it will also join okay so this is the advantage of that option now we have uh, taken that all of our wall till our first floor now we'll check is it okay or not i'll click here and i'll click here just see all of our all now till first floor from that floor to that floor first floor okay now i'll select that all i'll select that all and after creating your all if you need to modify it you can modify that from here so there are many options available i will show you about some basic option and then uh, when we'll go for complex work then you will understand about all of that option so first of all where our base constraint where so if we take our base constant in ground level it will move to ground level if you take your mouse just see it's move if we go here for a realistic view sorry Oh, sorry here we go for realistic as a realistic view and i'll not just take it as a you see it's more again if i select it and uh, if i take it from stl level one and if you take apply or if you click apply just see it's move here again i'll just take it, it as a ground floor just see it's done and for top if you want to take that till stl level one then from top it will be placed till stl level one again if you click unconnected and you can provide here some certain value suppose i need to create that all for eight feet or nine feet six inch nine feet six inch and see it will create a wall till 9 feet and 6 inch so this was the way this was the way to create your wall as per requirement again if i click here and i need to modify that wall i can do that i'll click here suppose i need to take that all 
for 6 inch okay or i need to uh, modify that all for 6 inch or any anything then also we are able to do it so it's okay and uh, if you need to change that uh, color of that all just go here then by category by clicking here we're also able to suppose if you want to use that color the graphical view appearance okay then if we go okay if we go okay apply just see all of that color have been changed right in this way we are able to change our color also but we learn uh, about that on the own we learn about that i'll just control z sorry i'll just go here i'll click here and uh, okay at this time it's okay i'll just cancel it i'll cancel it i'll cancel it and We'll press ctrl z so this is the way to use our all option perfectly and uh, uh, when we'll go for creating all or when we'll go for creating model then we'll learn about that very details so thank you thank you very much